think of uh, this part you said, one thing that comes to mind, one word that comes to mind is the word resilience. Uh, resilience, the ability to withstand and recover from challenges and difficulties. That's the word that comes to mind when I think of uh, this part you said. You see, no one is immune from challenges. Everyone goes through uh, his or her own share of challenges. Whether it's physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, or whatever it is, we all go through um, different challenges. However, what makes Miss Paris that such a great leader and such a hero in the eyes of so many, is not just what she goes through, but it's how she endures and how she bounces uh, back while helping others, even though she's going through she makes it a point to uh, sow in the life of others, which is really, really admirable. She bounces back with faith. She bounces back with confidence that all is going to be better. You see, this serves as, as a great model for our students and for those of us who are fortunate enough to know her. This is a great model, a great example. We can learn a lot from her strength. We can learn a lot from her tenacity, her resilience and her determination. Um, I'm thinking of um, of a story in the scriptures of a young lady called Ruth who came back in the land of farming and um, she was gleaning in the land of a certain, name, a certain man named Boaz and as she was gleaning the land she became very successful gathering grains, leftover grains in the field. However, what she did not know was that the owner of the field had instructed his workers to purposefully leave behind certain grains, some grains, so that Ruth can glean and pick up. And I think because of the seed that Miss Paris has been sowing in the lives of so many, God is positioning her to be blessed, to have an abundant harvest. And that is very, very admirable that even though she goes through, her students are fortunate to have her because she uh, really sets a good example for them. You see, the challenges that we go through oftentimes, we wonder what is the purpose of those challenges. I'm thinking of uh, an example here of a pack of grapes. A pack of grapes only lasts through one season. However, the crushing that the grapes go through, the unsavory and sometimes painful process that the grapes go through, turn the grapes into wine, and the wine can now last a lifetime. So we wonder why we go through certain challenges. What is the purpose of those challenges? Well, I think for Miss Pipe said, that is what's giving her longevity in what she does, that is what's making her so, such a great model and so admirable and such a great hero in the eyes of many others. Because she goes through the crushing and she bounces back with resilience. That is a great sign of leadership. A leader who doesn't give up. A leader who, even in the midst of trouble, in spite of the challenges, stands strong and become a great model for those who know um, get to know her and I think her attitude her resilience is very contagious it is helping those of us who know her those students who uh, are fortunate enough to be in her class to learn from her example and to know that tomorrow is a better day that things are gonna get better and I think she's been positioned to receive a great harvest and we are very proud of her and we wish her a lot of success Hi, Ms. Parasette. Just wanted to say congratulations on being nominated for the Chick-fil-A Academy Award. Um, we know that you are an amazing educator, an amazing teacher, and we know that you're going to win it. We wish you the best of luck. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Parasette, for consecutively hosting and planning the homecoming dances of your last 15 years. You know, I used to be a really shy person until I met Ms. Parasette. She taught me how to be a leader and how to get involved in the school. Now I'm a successful president of several clubs. I love Ms. Teresa, she's my inspiration. Do you want to learn to be a leader? 
that you should know Ms. Paris said. She teaches us five main things. How to be a role model, how to have good communication skills, how to be authentic, exhibit humility, and teaches us how to have self-awareness. By knowing Ms. Paraset, we all become better leaders every day. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jessica Lauer. I'm a 2023 Westbury High School graduate, and I am proud to say that I have personally known Ms. Paraset and that she has made an impact in my life. Ms. Paraset is a caring person who always treats her students equally and has always promoted inclusivity. Ms. Paraset always encourages each student to advocate for themselves and to participate in community service events. Ms. Paraset is a very dedicated advisor and has contributed her time, efforts, and energy to all school events. Ms. Paraset has hosted homecoming, pep rally, and has been involved in several organizations that will have benefit her students. Ms. Paraset has personally impacted my life in the way that she told me how to be a leader, how to step up, and how to manage my time. I truly thank Ms. Paraset and wish that she receives this award as she is truly a very important part of Westbury High School and deserves to be recognized. Thank you. We love you, Ms. Paraset. Congratulations, Ms. Paraset, on being nominated for the Chick-fil-A Leadership Award. It's well-deserved. Thank you for all you do for our students. We are very proud of you. My name is Samantha and I'm here to talk about how Ms. Paris has helped me as a student of hers. I took her last year and I struggled with her class a lot and she helped me push myself to do my work more, to have a better work ethic. Whenever I was struggling with something, she was there for me and I feel like I could really confide in her as a teacher. Um, my relationship with her is pretty close. I go to visit her sometimes when I can and she's made a really large impact on me and my character and I appreciate her a lot. I never learned how to be a leader until Mr. Reset persuaded me to join the Chick-fil-A leadership program. I learned to lead and to be led thanks to Ms. Pariset. Thank you, Ms. Pariset. Thank you, Ms. Pariset. Congratulations, Ms. Pariset, on receiving the Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy Award. Um, you're an inspiration to all the students at Westbury High School. I'm very proud of you. Hope you continue the great success. Thank you, Ms. Pariset. Hey, Ms. Pariset. Uh, congrats for the award. So happy to be uh, thank you, Ms. Barrett. Um I had you in ninth grade. You always told me to step up and stand out. You really taught me how to be a leader. I really appreciate you, and you really deserve this award. Thank, thank you, Ms. Barrett. We appreciate you. <laughs> thank you, Ms. Barrett. Thank you for being an inspirational leader. Thank you for everything you have done. You well deserve that award. Um, so I'd like to say congratulations to Ms. Spiracet for, for, for the nomination. Um, for the few months that I've known Ms. Spiracet, she's, in, she's inspired me to be a better leader and a better person. And I really hope she wins the vote for Ms. Spiracet. Thank you, Ms. Spiracet. You're the best teacher ever. So why should Naomi Spiracet be selected? She's awesome, what she has done with student council and what she does with her students in class uh, puts her in a, in a world all by herself. She's absolutely amazing, the time that she gives, the amount of interest that she takes in and instills in her students to be their best with their activities, uh, the engagement of students in the activities and the decision-making process. Uh, we've been doing this together for quite a number of years and just when I think she's, she's done her best, she outdoes herself. So when you have an individual like that, it's it's no reason why she's awesome. Uh, her leadership is evident by the number of awards that student council has, and it's not just her, but her ability to empower students to be leaders as well. Uh, I wish I could introduce you to the, so many of the students that she's encountered and, and the difference that she's made in their lives, and I believe the difference that they have made in her life. So her impact on me, uh, she is a colleague, she is a consummate professional, she's a friend, and she is absolutely amazing. So if you anybody should get this award, it should be my friend, my colleague, Naomi Parasin. Oh. Thank you, Ms. Parasin, for all that you've done. Thank you, Ms. Parasin. <laughs> Hey, Ms. Ferriset, congratulations on your award. Um, I just want to say thank you for making our uh, school such a strong community. Thanks to you. Thank you, Ms. Ferriset. You are the inspiration. Thank you, Ms. Ferriset. Thank you, Ms. Ferriset.
Thank you, Ms. Parasad. Thank you, Ms. Parasad, for being such a good teacher and student council leader. Oh, thank you, Ms. Parasad. Hi, Ms. Parasad. This is uh, your favorite. I uh, just want to let you know that I appreciate you so much for you know being there for me and whatever I got going on in my life. Uh, congratulations on all your accomplishments and all the congratulations on the hard work and the journey that you uh, laid forth throughout this entire you know journey with your entire life. Thank you and have a great day. I think Ms. Parker should be nominated for Chick Fil A Award because she has so, she has inspired many students in West Bay. Hey, Ms. Parker, uh, congrats for the award. So happy. I think Ms. Ms. Parasess would be nominated for Chick fil A Award because she's an amazing leader, an amazing teacher. She's an inspiration to Westbury. Congratulations for getting your award. Good job. Thank you, Ms. Parasess! Congratulations, Ms. Parasess, on getting nominated for the Chick fil A Leadership Academy Award. Fantastic job for everything that you do here, for all the things you put on for students, well deserved. I think Ms. Parasite should win this award because she has not only been a great inspiration as a teacher, motivating me to be a great person, but in and of itself, she hosts National Student Council, which impacts the community all around us, and I feel like that is great and should deserve more than just a mediocre pat on the back. So, Ms. Parasite should win this award. Thank you, Ms. Parasite. Carrie Alley, I just want to wish Mrs. Parasite well and um, I believe that you would be a wonderful candidate for this award and recipient for the award because not only as a classroom teacher are you super organized and really motivate your children, but as the student council advisor, you really brought the club to a wonderful place. The students are so motivated as participants in that, and I can see that as just another teacher in the building, that they take pride in their roles in the student council, that they're always um, looking forward to participating in the student council activities. And I also really appreciate that you never forget the veterans and that your student council works to help them as well. You guys do so many great things. It shows around the building and it shows in the students. And I wish you the best with this. Good luck. Or go ahead on Miss Persa. I can tell she's a great role model. Thank you, Miss Persa. Thank you, Mrs. Parasette, for all the contributions you do for our school and our community. I know that our scholars are very grateful to have you at the helm. So good luck in this competition. We wish you the best. All right, um, ninth grade year, I have Ms. Parasette. You know, she's a great teacher, great motivator. She taught me everything I know about writing. Thank you, Ms. Parasette. Congratulations, Ms. Parasette, on being nominated for the Chick-fil-A Award. I really hope that you win it because you deserve it. Congratulations, Ms. Parasette, on being nominated for the Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy Award. You deserve it. Nobody anywhere deserves it more than you. You do so much for all of the Westbury students. Congratulations, Congratulations. Ms. Parasette! I can say so much about Ms. Parasette. I admire her work ethic, her leadership, her educational instruction abilities at the Westbury High School Ms. Parasette is our advisor to our student council and has done tremendous work for philanthropy, fundraising, community service, serving our school, our Westbury community. Ms. Parasette is truly an asset to our high school and I truly respect and working with her each day in the advocacy she has again for our students at our high school as well as our school community. Vote for Ms. Parasette! Thank you Ms. Parasette for all that you do. Yeah.